What's up guys, Hooks Hitch with Ryan here and today I thought I would do a walkthrough on how I have my fishing kayak set up for the 2019 season. Alright guys, so if you know me or follow my channel, you know I've had this boat for right around a year now. I've really been able to test it in all different types of water, inshore, freshwater, and um, choppy water, windy days, calm water, and overall this is just a great boat. I really, I really like the whole setup of this boat. But today we're just going to do a walkthrough on a few little changes I made to make it more fishable for me. And I'll show you a few little things I've changed up just to help me out on the water to catch more fish. This is the 2018 Hobie Compass. It is uh, 12 feet long, 33 inches wide. Hobie came out with this boat to kind of give you an open deck, more of a standing platform, and very stable. Um, I really love the stability on this boat. And um, it just really matches my style of fishing. Alright guys, so we're going to start up here at the bow. This boat has a real sharp bow in the front to help cut the water real good, choppy water. And it uh, helps with speed. And it helps with keeping the boat quiet coming through the water too. If you're ever in clear water uh, and you're um, fishing for finicky fish, this boat is perfect for that. Up here you got a mesh, a uh, little mesh area to put stuff underneath here. I usually keep my net right there. Up here I got a hatch. This is where I keep my batteries for my fish finder. I actually use two drill batteries. They last about seven hours each. Up here, I originally, my hatch broke the original handle of it on it broke and I actually had to kind of make something a little bit different on it but actually it works out better because it's I don't get no water inside my hole now so that's how I have that I screwed up I screwed some more plastic in it and works out pretty good got my this is where I keep my paddle at up here's the open deck Mat pockets, put uh, scissors and pliers and that type of stuff in there. Back here, this is another neat little thing I changed for this year. Is I realized that Velcro is your friend. Guys, if you kayak fish a lot, I would really consider using some Velcro in certain situations. I used to put my hog trough down the side, but it doesn't fit anymore with my cooler. So what I do is I use Velcro now, and it just sits right there, doesn't go nowhere, and uh, works out great. Right here, I usually take a couple Plano boxes out with me. I try to keep it as simple as possible when I go out fishing. Here's the back area, here's the stern area, there's my rudder. This right here is the Engel Cooler. Now this is one of the other mod that I did that I recommend if you kayak fish, I would really recommend getting one of these. They sell these at um, Academy Sports for $64.99. They come with four rod holders already. And it's a dry box slash cooler. So you can keep fish in it if you want to. Or you can just use it as a dry box. I usually keep my planos and different stuff in there. It has a little tray at the top that slides on both sides. What I did was there was one issue with the lid wanting to fall back. But all I did was I used 60 pound braid with two stainless steel screws down here and up here. And that basically keeps it from falling back. And um, I actually, I painted my rod holders too, and I put some black uh, decal wrap 
on the cooler too to kind of customize it to keep it uniform with my boat um, tournament usually days when I do tournaments I usually like to go out with about six rods if I can't get it done with six rods I just need to stay at the house in my opinion um, right here is my camera mount one of my camera mounts but it swivels it's also it's actually a Scotty adapter so I can actually I got a rod a couple rod holders I put back inside of here too in case I want to bring more rods down here's the uh, handle control to turn to steer with here's another Scotty flush mount and I actually use this for multiple things right here um, rod holder for trolling and I also use this for another camera mount and it swings around gets good um, views might actually do another video on my do-it-yourself um, camera mounts pretty soon and um, right here I got a, just a Garmin striker with this Gur uh, Bur this Burley Pro visor, these are awesome. I'd recommend buying these. Buy one of these. I think they run about 25 to 40 bucks, depending on the size fish finder you have. But these are really good because in the summertime it keeps the it keeps your fish finder shaded. That way you can read it better, and also it keeps the rain from if you're ever out rain and it's raining, it protects it from the rain too. And um, right here is a lot of guys run wires for all their like inside lights and I just don't like to do that once again I use velcro remember velcro is your friend it uh, a couple bucks and you, you'd be surprised what you can mount on your boat with that but this right here is how it lights up when it's when it's dark outside all right guys so this is what my deck looks like whenever I have the light on at night. I think it does a really good job um, lighting up the whole deck. That way I can really pay attention to what's going on if I got any lures laying around. Or and this light works really good for you know launching in the mornings, and it keeps from having to run your wires. And to me, more wires you have running through your boat, just the more problems and just more headache you got, in my opinion. And I think that's why. I, it just makes more sense to keep it simple with a um, light velcroed to the bottom of your seat and it just lights up the whole deck for you. It takes AAA batteries, so works for me. This right here is my Mirage Drive 180. This right here is actually the pedal drive for the kayak and this is uh, makes it hands-free. But I have the turbo fins on it. I actually I did some a little bit of customizing on this. It normally it normally comes with a two cables that stand straight up and when you're in the boat to me they always got in the way but I changed them out with some smaller pipe with two uh, little handles off a of weed eater and what they do now is lay flat on the deck and they're not in my way when I'm fishing so that's that's a little mod I did to help me out on the water some people might like it but some people might not and for me it works good for me Right here, I usually keep, I use a lot of Z-Man plastics, as you can see, but I always keep those in a uh, little, like, lunch box, lunch bag, especially in them summer days, because it gets really hot, and that keeps, helps, uh, keeps them cool, and I think that's about it. Yeah, that's my setup for 2019. I, I did a few things to kind of help me out on the water, especially with the how I mount my hog trough and definitely the best thing I ever did was get the ingle cooler the 19 quart ingle cooler all right guys well that's my Hobie compass setup for the 2019 season um, I'm really hoping to have a lot of fun this year a lot of videos coming this year so stay tuned right now we got a warm front right now it's a little breezy today but we've had some warm weather but it's supposed to get cold again but we're right around the corner from spring, so it's on. But uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a good day, see you on the water.